Hi, my name's Sean Heffernan, I'm the head gardener here at Mount Usher Gardens. Uh, the gardens are coming up to their 150th birthday soon, and the gardens were established by Edward Walpole. At this time, a garden designer called William Robinson, who believed in a more naturalistic type of gardening, was uh, writing a lot of articles, and the Walpoles decided to go with that, and so the garden has been a Robinsonian garden for nearly 150 years. Edward Walpole originally bought the mill here at Mount Usher, which was a, a tuck mill and then a corn mill. It unfortunately fell down and they built this house behind me in the 1920s. It's very unusual to have a 1920s house when you think of the political landscape of Ireland at the time. The garden comprises of about 22 acres and it's designed all the way along the River Vartry. It's uh, acid soil, so we can grow a lot of rhododendrons, azaleas, and we have two national collections of uh, Nothophagus and Eucryphia. Now, the garden stayed in the Walpole family up until about the 1980s, when Mrs. Madeline Jay bought it, and she immediately banned chemicals when she bought it. The latest historical development of Mount Usher would be that the garden was leased to Avoca Handweavers, and it was Mrs. Jay's way of securing the future of the gardens that she loved so much.